Hello and welcome to computerized engineering. This is a beginner friendly tutorial and in this video we will be making this part and I have prepared a step by step presentation so that it's easier for you to follow my instructions. You can see each step is detailed and there are six steps. So without further ado let's just jump right into it. So once you open FreeCAD you will see the start page just simply go to empty file tasks create body create sketch and let's begin our sketch from yz plane so just click here so before we begin our sketch let's have a look at step number one now in step one we have to start from this sketch over here so what we make will look something like this not something like this exactly like this and then we will give this an extrusion of 450 millimeters so let's see how it's done to begin your sketch just go over here create polyline and create lines like this first we will create random lines and later we will give them constraints and dimensions so that we can define the sketch and make it fully constrained so the next thing what we have to do is make sure that the sketch is symmetric so in order to do that select this point this point and this line and then choose this option constrain symmetric now you can see this is symmetric once I move it same distance on both sides now let's do the same for this line as well this point this point this line and then this option constrain symmetric now the next thing what we have to do is make both of these equal so select both of these and then choose this option constrain equal now we can give it dimensions. So this is 300 millimeters. This is 120. This is 60. And now this one, this is 70. And from the bottom, this one is 30. So this one is 70 millimeter and from here till here this is 30. Now you can see our sketch is fully constrained which means that if I try to move it it will not move because every line every vertex is fixed. So let's close and go to model and while your sketch is selected go to pad. And over here we have to give the length of 450 millimeters so 450 and just make sure this is symmetric to plane click OK by checking the box symmetric to plane we make sure that uh, this has equal length in this direction and this direction from the YZ plane so let's hide this again and this is the end of step number one now let's continue with step number two in step two we have to create this sketch on top of this face over here and we have to create this highlighted sketch and what we see over here is four circles with four arcs which are tangent to these circles and let's get started with step number two so choose this face and begin your sketch let's reorientate this and let's begin our sketch by creating a rectangle which is just for our reference and in order to do that select this option toggle construction geometry and then click here and choose centered rectangle and start from the center now let's put the sketch side by side so that it's easier for me to follow so now go to this option dimensions and let's assign this dimension so 300 and 150 and now let's return from construction to normal sketching mode and choose this option create circle by center and put one circle on each corner over here make sure that you see this cross symbol which means that the circle is um, latched correctly on the edge press escape select all of these circles and then choose this constraint equal and now let's um, assign the diameter or the radius which is 50 millimeters so this is giving us the diameter so that means 100 press escape and now we have to create arcs over here 
an arc over here, 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 and here. So let's do that. For that, choose this option, create arc by three points, and just create an arc which is facing like this, not like this, like this. Okay, press escape and now we have to make this tangent. So select this arc, this circle and make it tangent. Um, to make it easier for you to see, I will just go to model and hide the pad. Now I think it, this will be easier for you to see. Now again select this arc, this circle, tangent. Wait, I think we that did not happen. So press escape and again this arc, this circle, tangent. Yeah. Just make sure that you see this tangent symbol over here. Circle, arc, tangent, and again. Now let's proceed with the dimensions. So this has a radius of 180 and this has a radius of 60 so this is 60 180 press escape and let's select both of these and make them equal now the radius is assigned automatically to this arc as well and let's do the same for these one equal wait this one this one equal yeah now this is good and now let's trim the extra edges so go to this option trim edge and let's trim this this and this and do this for each of the circle okay now our sketch is fully constrained let's close this and while this sketch is selected we have to extrude this um, 58 millimeters so while the sketch is selected, go to pad and then enter here 58. Okay. So you should get something like this and this is the end of step number two. Now in step number three, we have to create this part over here, which is on top of this face. So let's get started with step number three. Choose this face, begin your sketch by clicking over here, create sketch. Let's reorientate this again. And before we begin our sketch, let's create some reference lines so that once we are creating the line, this can be easily uh, snapped over here. Press escape and choose this option, create external geometry. And make sure you select this arc and this arc. Press escape go to this option create line and now you can see this is getting snapped over here so like this and like this press escape now try to make it symmetric okay this works and now let's assign the dimension 160 so now we have to close the sketch so we have to create an arc over here and over here so in order to do that just go over here create arc by three points make sure you snap the arc over here here and then here similarly here as well now you can see uh, the sketch is fully constrained we can close the sketch and we have to extrude this sketch by 20 millimeters so while the sketch is selected go to this option pad and 20. Now we're done with step number three and let's proceed with step number four where we have to first of all um, create a plane A on which this arc will be sketched. So before we begin let's do some mathematics. So this length is 450 millimeters. If we subtract 300 from this then we will get um, 150. And if we divide this by 2, that means this length alone is 75 millimeters. So that means this plane over here should be 75 millimeters from this face over here. So plane A is located 75 millimeters from this face. Let's do that. 
Now in order to create a datum plane, just click over here, create a datum plane. And here in references, select this face. Now this is your reference. Let's leave rest of the references empty and let's leave attachment mode as it is. And in attachment offset, let's change the Z direction to 75. But this should be in opposite direction. So click here, flip sides. Now this is good. Scroll up, okay. Let's rename this to plane A. And let's see what now we have to do. So I think, yeah, this was step four, that's it. Now in step number five, we have to create this arc on uh, this plane that we just created. So let's do that. But first we have to create the circle and I will tell you why. So select this face and then begin your uh, sketch. Now in order to um, snap the circle with this, uh, with the center of this circle, what we have to do is create a reference. So create a reference over here, press escape, and then choose this option, create circle by center. And now you can see this is easily snapped with this. Now let's assign the diameter which is 50 millimeters and before we exit the sketch let's create a point over here for reference. So press escape to exit from dimension tool and then click here create point and zoom in and just put a point over here. Now let's close the sketch and now let's proceed by creating the arc on this plane. So click over here and begin your sketch. And before we begin our sketch, just go to this option, create external geometry and then zoom in and click on this point over here. Okay, this is okay. Now press escape and then choose this option, create arc by three points. And now you can see this is easily getting snapped over here. So yeah let's do this uh, let's go to model and hide the plane return to tasks and click here view section now both of these circles are 150 millimeters apart so we just have to make sure this is also 150 millimeter apart from this so this and this 150 and the next thing we have to make sure is that uh, these are collinear. So this point, this point, and then choose this option. Now you can see this is collinear. Now let's also make this point collinear with them. So select uh, this point and any one of either this point or this point, and then choose this option. Now our sketch is fully constrained and we can close this. Now the final step which is use additive pipe and then we have to mirror this so first let's use additive pipe so in order to use additive pipe first what we have to do is select let's select this sketch and then go to this option additive pipe now you can see in profile uh, this is automatically selected and in path to sweep along click on add edge and then choose this arc and now this is okay this is perfectly what we need click OK and now the final step of step number six we just have to mirror this so in order to do that choose this additive pipe and then go over here mirrored and we have to mirror this about YZ plane so here choose YZ plane okay so this is the end of step number six and if you followed the tutorial correctly you should get this that's all from this video if you like my content you can offer your support just click on this link which will redirect you to this page here you can donate a small amount to help me grow the channel so thank you for watching the video take care and see you next time